Hey guys, it's Plenty here. This is how I use Deadlock to kill people in ranked. In this clip, we're playing Attack on Ascent. By now, you probably know this lineup here, but if you don't, this hit basically both dice and back gen. Anyways, I grabbed the ult up here, and here comes a big mistake that kind of pisses me off in a lot of ranked games. Our jet does not communicate at all, dashes onto site without calling for a util, and just insta dies because Owen flashes main, so we can't push onto site with her. This causes us to be in a 4v5, which is not really good. Anyways, by now, the enemy team has likely mostly all rotated towards a or at least is very close to a so pushing into that side will just be a dumb mistake so we decide to spread out a bit and i hear someone step bottom mid so i ask my killjoy to come swing with me a lot of the time if you're going to dry swing into an area ask your teammate to help you swing so you guys can both either survive or at least you can trade each other if one of you guys dies Ready? after taking out jet i hold short for a bit just to make sure nobody trades her anyways after spreading out and getting a pick mid the map now should have cooled down a bit and the enemies also should have spread out. This means that we could either re-hit A or go B, but we decide to re-hit A. I pop my ultimate early here to make sure I at least get one enemy to make it a bit easier for my other teammate to win the round if I do die, and two, to scare the enemies a bit. So it's easier to walk onto side and take the space. This concept is kind of similar to Racist Rocket. Enemies usually become a bit scared when you take out the ultimate, so it helps to move them away. This also makes me spot Cypher trying to flee the scene, so <laughs> I kidnap him. After cocooning Cypher, I wall short so Omen doesn't get killed by planting as it's already smoked so the only way for Omen to die right now is if they push out of the smoke short. But since my wall is there, they can't. Then I place my sonic sensor like this one on heaven to stall their push a bit and one angle like this on gen so if they drop down they will send after this i just wait for them to push and take them out also all of these clips are taken from my twitch if you have any questions about how to improve with that luck come by my twitch and i'll try to help you have you ever hit a clip that you didn't record if so, then that won't happen anymore if you use Metal.tv. You guys have probably heard of it, but if you haven't, Metal is a clipping software that automatically clips any play you do in game with the press of a button. What's so great about Metal as well is that you can edit your clips inside the app, meaning you won't have to change programs to post your clips. This means that you can, for example, make your clip vertical so you can use it for TikTok or YouTube Shorts. And what's even cooler about Metal as well is that it allows you to share your clips to your friends on the platform and even voice chat or just like regular chat with them on Metal. And you're probably thinking, but won't the clips be in bad quality if it auto clips them? No, you can record in up to 4K and of course 4K clips take up a lot of space, but Metal also auto deletes your videos depending on how your settings are. So you won't have to worry about that either. It's kind of just like having like, I don't know, a minion working at your computer. <laughs> if this is something that interests you, definitely check out metal.tv. I have a link in the description if you want to check them out and also make sure to follow me there because I have some cool clips posted. Also, tag me in some clips as well. I want to see you guys hit some nice shots, okay? Thank you. For context, before I play this 1v5As, this entire match we were just getting hard stream sniped. So the reason I shoot bodies and stuff here is just because I was a little bit annoyed at the teammates. And also because I'm Demon 1. Just kidding, tense is better. Anyways, after killing Reyna, I get the call that there's three people main. This likely means that one of the other players have tried to lurk up mid or something similar as they know where I am so that they can just pinch me from both sides. So I go mid and manage to catch Viper off guard. After killing Viper, I make a huge mistake, and that is to preemptively use my ult, which causes me to miss it. Always use your time aiming the ultimate so you get a value out of it. That's a huge mistake a lot of deadlock players do. So, yeah, take your time aiming the ultimate. Jet manages to tag me for 146 here, but I somehow survive, so we take it. Anyways, here is where the enemies start getting greedy, which is good for me because that means that it will give me free 1v1s, which is a huge mistake by them. Jet starts pushing towards me and he smokes himself off, so that means that there's a certain level of unpredictability of where he can come from. That's the reason I grabbed it here, because then he's stuck in his smoke and I know exactly where he is. So then I'll just hit the easiest shot of my life. So what follows after Jet and he also dies. Now, left in a 1v1, I take my time clearing side, even with a little time i have left as i want to make sure i can get a safe plant down after getting plant down our clove smokes main so that gives me the opportunity to look more towards yellow and sure enough there he is in this clip you will see how to utilize deadlock's one weakness on attack to an advantage and that is not having anything to hold time with after failing a b push the enemies now know where we are and valorant kind of works like chess in a way meaning the enemy will likely try to get as much space as possible and if they know where all you are they can just take that space for free and it's even easier if you're playing deadlock since deadlock doesn't have anything to hold flank with this likely means that one of the enemies are flanking from a or mid so that gives me the chance to go swing mid to see if we can get a pick 
after taking out Clove, I asked my team to come back so we can rotate to A. As right now, there isn't a single player towards A as we killed their Lurker. And Phoenix and Sova were towards B side. But they don't want to listen because they're ranked teammates and they both go in to die. Right before my Clove gets taken out here, I throw my grab net just in case they decide to push fast so I don't die insta. And also so I can separate them and maybe get a 1v1 if I'm very lucky. And well, Phoenix gives me one. Killing Phoenix gives me my ultimate and I know Sova step towards logs, so easy. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do on Icebox defense recently is to take a main control very early in the round. Essentially, the way to do this with a deadlock is to grab it like this at the start of the round, partner with a molly from Viper or Killjoy, like any character who can molly. Then you just have to push the space, take out the defenders, and you can also wall off a main after you've taken the space if you want to. Now, this is a risky play, so... The best way I've found to use it is to use it for eco rounds because on eco rounds you kind of want to gamble half of the time. Anyways, after taking out Gecko, I heard another one close by, so I decided to ult it and managed to catch Viper. Then, after securing two guns, we move over to B side. While we've taken A main, the enemies of course can take B and mid, so our Viper gets killed from behind, so I take out Jet. Then, while our Reyna peeks from default, I wrap around in yellow to try to get an off angle on the two enemies focusing Reyna and, well, take them out. Here is an example of using deadlock, kind of like a duelist. It's quite simple, to be honest. Their Cypher has been playing at the same place on B side all the time, and therefore know where to ult him. Ulting Cypher gives our team an infinitely easier time on side and makes our side take a lot easier. This is what I mean with the duelist playstyle, kind of. You can get the opening frag for your team if you know where the enemy usually plays. Then you just have to ult them. This works really good with ult lineups. Like, for example, if you know the enemy likes to play close lamps on bind, you can throw this one, and that will likely give you an opening frag. It's all about knowing where the enemy plays and then utilizing that to your advantage with the ultimate it's very simple bro if only i won if only i won that bro that would have been I mean, as I said, I don't know if he's fully cheating, but from, from uh, he, him telling me, I haven't really seen anything else, bro. I can't lie. I feel like that. I'm better. He's not winning that. He's not winning that. He's not winning that. He's not winning that. Oh. We're locked in. The king is fucking back, baby. Did it work? I'm sure you know me. You love crime? No, no, only in game. Uh, one more. It's okay. It's okay. Here, here. Here, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe and sorry that it took so long to make. I did so much, but it wasn't enough.